Hello, uh, my name is Jiso, and I'm reading Master Dogen's Show Bogenzo. We're about halfway through. Oh no, we're nearly at the end of Kokiyu, paragraph 170. You just had do not idly allow the one dumpling before you now to fall to the ground. Break it open. This is the effort. Sappho says, as wide as the eternal mirror. We should quietly reflect on these words. Not wanting to say the furnace is ten feet wide, he speaks like this. It is not true that saying ten feet would be the fit expression of the truth, whereas as wide as the eternal mirror is an unfit expression. We should research actions that are as wide as the eternal mirror. Many people have thought that not saying the furnace is ten feet wide was unfitness of expression. They should diligently consider the independence of width. They should reflect that the eternal mirror is a concrete thing and they should not let action, which is reality, pass them by. Seppo may be manifesting behaviour in the way of the ancients, never falling into despondency. Gensa says, the old man's heels have not landed on the ground. The point here is, whether we call him the old man or whether we call him the old master, that is not always Seppo himself, because Seppo may be a real old man. As to the meaning of heels, we should ask just where they are. We should master in practice just what heels means. Does mastering heels in practice refer to the right Dharmarai treasury, or to space, or to the whole ground, or to the lifeblood? How many heels are there? Is there one? Is there a half? Are there hundred thousand myriads? We should do diligent research like this. They have not landed on the ground. What kind of thing is the ground? We provisionally call the present earth ground in conformance with the view of our own kind. There are other kinds that see it, for instance, as the Dharma gate to unthinkable salvation. And there is a kind that sees the earth as the Buddha's many enactments of the truth. So in the case of the ground upon which the heels should land, what kind does Gensa see as the ground? Is the ground the real state of being, or is it the real state of being without? Further, we should ask again and again, and we should tell ourselves and tell others, whether it is impossible for even an inch or so of what we generally call the ground to exist within the great order. Is heels touching the ground the right state, or is heels not landing on the ground the right state? What situation leads Genser to say they have not landed on the ground? When the earth is without an inch of soil, the words touching the ground may be immature, and the words not having landed on the ground may be immature. This being so, the old man's heels not having landed on the ground is the very exaltation and inhalation, sorry, is the very exhalation and inhalation of the old man, the very moment of his heels. Zen Master Koto of Kokutai in Temple on Kinkazan Mountain in the Bushu district, the story goes, is asked by a monk, what is the eternal mirror like before being polished? What is the eternal mirror like before being polished? The master says, the eternal mirror. The monk says, what is it like after being polished? The master says, the eternal mirror. Remember, the eternal mirror under discussion now has a time of being polished, a time before being polished, and a time after being polished, but it is wholly the eternal mirror. This being so, when we are polishing, we are polishing the eternal mirror in its entirety. We do not polish by mixing in mercury or anything else other than the eternal mirror. This is neither polishing the self nor the self-polishing. It is the polishing the eternal mirror. It is polishing the eternal mirror. Before being polished, the eternal mirror is not dull. Even if people call it black, it can never be dull. It is the eternal mirror in its vivid state. In general, we polish a mirror to make it into a mirror. We polish a tile to make it into a, mi a mirror. We polish a tile to make it into a tile. 
and we pour it, polish a mirror to make it into a tile. There are times when we polish without making anything, and there are times when it would be possible to make something, but we are unable to polish. All equally are the traditional work of Buddhist patriarchs. When Basho of Kozai in former days was learning in practice under Nangaku, Nangaku on one occasion intimately transmits to Basho the mind seal. This is the beginning of the beginning of polishing a tile. Basho has been living in Dempo in temple, sitting constantly in Zazen for a matter of ten or so years. We can imagine what it is like in his thatched hut on a rainy night. There is no mention of him letting up on a cold floor sealed in by snow. Nengaku goes one day to Basho's huts where Basho stands waiting. Nengaku asks, what are you doing these days? Basho says, these days Duitsu just sits. Nengaku says, what is the aim of sitting in Zazen? Basho says, the aim of sitting in Zazen is to become Buddha. Nengaku promptly fetches a tile and polishes it on a rock near Basho's hut. Basho, on seeing this, asks, what is the master doing? Nengaku says, polishing a tile. Basho says, what is the use of polishing a tile? Nengaku says, I'm polishing it into a mirror. Basho says, how can polishing a tile make it into a mirror? Nengaku says, how can sitting in Zazen make you into a Buddha? It's not Basho, is it? It's it's Bas, Basso, Basso, ba, Basso, I suppose, I don't know. For several hundred years since ancient times, most people interpreting this story, great matter that it is, have thought that Nangaku was simply spurring Basso on. That is not necessarily so. The actions of great saints far transcend the states of common folk. Without the Dharma of polishing a tile, how could the great saints have expedient method of teaching people have any expedient method of teaching people? The power to teach people is the bones and marrow of a Buddhist patriarch. Although Nangaku has devised it, this teaching method is a common tool. Teaching methods other than common tools and everyday utensils are not transmitted in the house of Buddha. Further, the impression of Basso is immediate. Clearly, the virtue authentically transmitted by the Buddhist patriarchs is directness. Clear, clearly, in truth, when polishing a tile becomes a mirror, Basso becomes Buddha. When Basso becomes Buddha, Basso immediately becomes Basso. When Basso becomes Basso, Zazen immediately becomes Zazen. This is why the making of mirrors through the polishing of tiles has been dwelt in and retained in the bones and marrow of eternal Buddhas. And, this being so, the eternal mirror exists having been made from a tile. While we have been polishing this mirror in the past also, it has never been tainted. Tiles are not dirty. We just polish a tile as a tile. In this state, the virtue of making a mirror is realised. And this is just the effort of Buddhist patriarchs. If polishing a tile does not make a mirror, polishing a mirror cannot make a mirror either. Who can suppose that in making there is both becoming Buddha and making a mirror? Further, to express a doubt, <clears throat> is it possible when polishing the eternal mirror to mistakenly think that the polishing is making a tile? The real state at the time of polishing is, at other times, beyond comprehension. Nevertheless, because Nangaku's words must exactly express, express the expression of the truth, it may be, in conclusion, simply that polishing a tile makes a mirror. People today also should try taking up the tiles of the present and polishing them, and they will certainly become mirrors. If tiles did not become mirrors, people could not become Buddhas. If we despise tiles as lumps of mud, then we might also despise people as lumps of mud. If people have mind, tiles must also have mind. Who can recognise that there are mirrors in which, when tiles come, tiles appear? And who can recognise that there are mirrors in which, when mirrors come, mirrors appear? Shobogenzo Kokyo.
preached to the assembly at Kenan Dori Kosho Horinji Temple on the ninth day of the ninth lunar month in the second year of Ninji. Thank you for listening.